Hey, welcome guys. In this video, we're doing an unboxing of the Ring Alarm wireless home alarm system that you can kind of build on your own and it's kind of like a do-it-yourself kit except it's not much setup involved from my understanding it's very straightforward and easy to the point uh, my understanding is that you can also monitor it yourself without a subscription service but if you want professional home monitoring services you can sign up for that for a hundred dollars for the entire year or ten dollars a month if you do on a monthly basis um, which is significantly cheaper than what I'm paying. I'm paying about $37 and change a month without any like app compatibility or any other integration with smart uh, security cameras of any kind. Whereas Ring, I believe that there is integration. So um, very interesting to see how this will work. I'm a huge fan of smart home products, but especially while saving money. Why not, right? Especially if I'm going to be saving money and it works better than my current system. Bigger bonus right there. So the box is really plain, uh, just basically the same details I was telling you guys, the cost per month. Um, does it have professional services, monitoring, or, which is optional, you don't have to sign up for it. Um, here's the base itself, I know that the siren is, it blares from here. I know that this is where the siren comes from, this is like the main hub. Uh, it looks like it has some ports for power, ethernet, USB, I'm not sure what the USB would be for, maybe some sort of firmware update or some sort of troubleshooting if, if it's down, I'm not sure to be honest. Um, because it's not really mentioned anywhere, so I would think it's almost never used. It's probably like an emergency thing if maybe some sort of firmware update is needed. So continue on. Uh, looks like we have some documentation from Ring here. And I'm just trying to get this out without damaging the pamphlet. I, this, I don't know why, it's just like a pet peeve. I don't like to damage these pamphlets for some reason. So here's a sticker that it, you are protected by Ring Alarm services. It's nice to have. Um, if you sign up for the subscription service, then you know you are protected by them. So, looks to be the startup guide, quick set of contents, what's available, how to set it up. Um, it looks like the guide is very easy to follow, very simple instructions. When I set up the Ring Video Doorbell, the Pro version, it was very simple. Um, from my understanding, I think this is a lot easier. There's no hard wiring of any kind, everything is just plugged into a power outlet, connect to your Wi-Fi and you're done. Whereas the Ring Video Doorbell actually had me take off my doorbell and connect it with the hard wiring, which is a bit more complicated. So I'm glad the alarm system, which has more components, is easier to use. The keypad is very chunky and big. It, it just, it doesn't, that's not a bad thing. It's very easy to find, I guess, especially if it's dark. But it's kind of weird that the number of pads are so big. And you saw there's a power source connection at the back, which looks to be a micro USB port. Uh, so this is the motion sensor, very typical. Looks like your very traditional motion sensor that you would find with almost any home alarm system. Um, I think this is a range extender. I'm pretty sure this is not an additional chiming unit. I think this, the base does that only. And this is, this looks to be one part of the contact sensor. So I guess it, it goes with the, the door or window, depending on where you attach it. But I, I don't see where the other piece is. It should be two pieces, right? You, you need two parts to make the sensor know that something is open or closed. So I'm just kind of confused as to what's happening with that. Because um, I'm just kind of like looking around, did I miss anything? Ah, uh, right. That makes sense because I'm missing a whole bunch of power cables. Good on me. Okay, so here's one of the power connections, which, yep, I was right, micro USB. So that could be for the keypad, I would assume. And there's a power port for it. Let's put that to the side. This is most likely the power unit for the alarm base itself. Um, so we'll put that to the side. The measurements of the wiring, any backup battery, uh, because I believe there are backup battery uh, components. I'll put in the video review. The video, um, this unboxing is being done now, but I always test products for a few weeks so because it's a home alarm system I'll be testing it for a few weeks before I post the review and I'll have all the details there. So this looks to be some accessory bracket kits for uh, the motion sensor, how to hang it up, as well as the keypad, as well as the contact sensor. There's a whole bunch of brackets, screw adapters and whatnot included in the box. Very nice of Ring to include that. Very convenient. Uh, I know it's it's not a big deal, but you know for some people it's just a convenience factor instead of having to go to Home Depot or something and buy it separately. It could be really annoying, right? 
struggling to get this last piece out of the box. And here's the one for the contact sensor. I hope the other end of the contact sensor is in here because that would be nice to have that, right? Yeah, that's it. Uh, this has to be it. That that looks like to be it right there on the left. Yeah, that makes total sense. Okay, and I just find it weird that they separated it. They didn't put it together because you have to pull out the battery slip to turn it on. So not a big deal, just interesting. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing. Uh, be sure to hit that like button, it does help. Check out my social links in the video description, as well as the review. I'll go very in depth also in the video description. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.